don't turn around. Uh oh. Because Shadows of Rose's DLC is in town. Hey guys, Legendary Badass here. Kicking off. Uh, I'm hoping we're going to. We're, one way or another, we're going to finish the Shadows of Rose DLC campaign tonight. If you're watching on Twitch, you watch this on YouTube for the same day, I guess. It may take a stream or two to do it, but picking up where we left off, we have gotten through a couple of different areas. We just finished the, what is it, Bino De Vida something, the, the creepy doll ladies area. Kind of repurposed with this fight with Evelyn, with Evelyn tormenting uh rosemary here showing her how she's been bullied really enjoying this dlc so far we had stealth mechanics kind of a little nightmares uh homage throughout uh much of this past area there seems to be more gameplay diversity in being the fairly weak less than incredibly up rosemary compared to ethan like, Dad is just so much more versatile. Uh, she does have some abilities. I've gotten my, my push ability up to five. What, what is this? Tricolor. Tri triocular. Looks like the door is thrown off a hinge. Handgun ammo, can't complain too much about that. See, you can't even upgrade the shotgun. I think the one weapon you can upgrade is this handgun. And that's it. I, I kind of like playing as someone who is a little more on the fragile side, as the movers said on Rugrats. It, this has been scarier than the campaign, the, the actual village game. What are we looking at here? We're in the Upside Down. This is the upside down. So Rosemary is traveling. They kind of concocted a somewhat plausible way to revisit the village, revisit the area. I think this is actually Chris campaign area. Kind of looked like. Oh, is that a me over there? But they they've kind of come up with this way for her to dive in, almost like Jennifer Lopez movie The Cell and revisit this area and story-wise it's pretty strong oh geez nothing to visit huh game's giving me some stuff we must be gearing up to fight anything over here Right, glad I know I can quick turn. I could do that. Uh, we are drinking a Rockstar tonight. Same one I've been drinking. And I have Christmas cookies. That we will try to eat during celebratory moments and cutscenes. So let's get to it. These ones are blonde. Most of the ones in the castle weren't dressed like this Rosemary. It's the mask statue. Everything's falling apart. We're in the jumbled up mishmash, misremembered world here. Hold on, do I need to shoot these guys? Maybe it's two headshots will do the trick, but I can't headshot because I'm an elder gamer, and I'm playing on the controller. Not some cheap, dickless, mouse and keyboard PC gamer. It wants me to shotgun. Is 
this one getting up too? Uh, it said shotgun rounds. Where are they? Here we are. Maybe I shouldn't be using the shotgun like this. Hell, I've, I've got capability to counter. I, sh I should have been using things better than that. I honestly, I don't, I haven't played this area before, but I could pro, you know, probably would have learned that it could have just ran past all this. Maybe there's some stuff over here. I see some sage. Gotta be really careful with your bullets in this mode. Yeah, you can craft, but you don't come across a lot of items. Oh shit, we're gonna have to fight first. Get off me. This one's got that downhill momentum. Wow, just in time. And I thought I, I thought that one took four shots. I think I hit some shoulder there. I may be wasting all my ammo. Kind of looks like we're in the end area, in a way. Um, you know, like we're kind of playing the Chris, the Chris area. This is where he jumped down. He had to fight Big Hammered Bro. So I'd, maybe you don't actually revisit every area. There may not be that much reason for Rose to go to the, you know, the hunchback guy in the bog lake area, right? So much. So maybe this is the last area. Haven't gone to. We seem to have skipped Heisenberg's factory. I'm, uh, I'm kind of thinking she may have to fight the Duke at the end. Alright, what's the best way to not fall damage? Search the cave. Get that flashlight on, girl. Get. I said get that... She doesn't have a flashlight button. So we're head towards the Mega My Seat. That's it right there, I think. Cutscene cookie. Mm -hmm. Boy, is it nice in a Resident Evil game to have a cutscene without having to do quick time events. We gonna see some naked rose here? Avert your eyes, children. Lots of gun ammo. Something's up. The Mega My Seed absorbs the memories of all life within its reach, but there are laws which govern this world within it. Seems worthwhile to catalog them as they become apparent, the memories that comprise this realm. I liked it in the original RE where it told you who was talking before you started reading it. Catalog them. As they become apparent, the memories that comprise this realm. Like, you know, it gave a title. The Night Watch's Journal. You know, something like that. The memories that comprise this realm do not strictly reflect reality. Only those who are attuned to the mutamite seat in this life retain control of their facilities here in this realm. This aligns with the understanding of the Megamycete as revealed to me in its visions before my death. Then how'd you write this? Yes, my death. My physical body has gone absorbed in the Megamycete, and yet I do not despair, for this fate has granted me fascinating insights. All those years I strived have con continue to strive they are not for nothing the memories the consciousness understanding and knowledge i accumulate in life have transformed here to the mega my seats where it uh, serves as a source of power within this realm if i can harness this power i believe i can use it to affect the thoughts and memories of others of course it's hardly a perfect arrangement with so many minds memories gathered here finding and retrieving a single person from amidst the rabble has proven you mean a rubble 
rab amidst the rabble, has proven an immense challenge. Her memories are here, yes, but dissolute. Perhaps what is needed is the right vessel into which to hold her. Sounds like Mother Miranda, maybe? And of course, I know of the perfect vessel. The only real candidate in all my years of researching, or searching, Rosemary Winters. Time to hit the savey save. Actually, let's read. Let's pick up some stuff, do the reading, and then hit the save. You ain't gonna do nothing to me, are you? I've been experimenting with the possibilities of manipulating or reviving the consciousness stored within the megamycete. When a person dies, their consciousness is stored and preserved, but over time it becomes diffused and diluted, spread thin throughout the megamycete, and mixed with other consciousness and memories. I've turned into Ben Shapiro, extracting and reassembling, reassembling an individual who... If you save Ben Shapiro, do you get, like, uh, you know, your slap on the wrist over at Twitter, some, some kind of reprimandation. Extracting and reassembling an individual who is thus diffused has proven a monumental effort. And th an experiment I've decided to see what would happen if I used different individuals' consciousness to create an identity. Results. The results were fascinating. I gathered fragments, re-spooled the threads, and succeeded in creating an individual birthed anew in this realm. A success to be sure, but while his unusual physique resembled a man I once knew, he was possessed of a deeply warmed psyche and was missing a portion of his... Are we describing Ethan? Conclusion. While manipulating memories to create a person is possible, the creations are flawed and unstable. I will not be... It will not be possible to manufacture a suitable vessel this way. Am I going to have to fight my dad? It would seem that at some point during my experiments with consciousness, an intruder made herself at home in my realm. That would be me. The intruder was none other than the failure Evelyn. Evel Wait, have I been saying Evelyn? Maybe it's Evelyn. I don't... I'm going to say Evelyn. Who has been running around enacting her own pitiful agenda, which has led to a slight disruption of in my own plans. Had Evelyn not interfered, Rosemary Winters would have been on the verge of despair, disposed of her will to live and her minimized powers. Instead, a new passion burns within her. I shall have to extinguish. Fighting Evelyn has given Rosemary purpose. I don't really think that's the reason. Hell, new save spot. I've got a, I've got cloud storage, man. Oh boy, this is, shit's gonna get bad. So much ammo. I had intended to duplicate Rosemary Winters with the hope that a replica, a perfect replica, might serve as a suitable vessel. However, the results were less than ideal. It would seem that some sort of interference is preventing me from creating a suitable replica. Ethan. That is that interference. Instead, I have succeeded in making what is essentially a living doll. It resembles the real thing, yes, but has no power. Such a pathetic husk could never prove suitable as a vessel. I will continue my efforts. Sometimes it sucks having a word salad dialogue box for your story. I will but it's lore, Vaughn. It's lore. I will continue my efforts in hopes of discerning the source of this interference. Several hypotheses have come to mind thus far. The fact... That Rose herself is still alive, some other actor within this realm. A flaw in my method, methods of production. You mean, okay. None of these seem especially likely to be the sole reason, nor are any of them so easy promised to solve. Perhaps my best hope is to somehow bring Rose into this realm. Were she to offer herself as a vessel, it would be so simple. I don't really want to offer myself. Additional observations, further experiments with these rose copies, as I've taken to calling these husks, have yielded another interesting wrinkle to pursue. When subjected to situations evoking extreme terror, they actually begin to express some semblance of Rose's abilities. I'm going to be finding some of these, and they're going to use abilities on me. This warrants more research, and I think that my first creation, the Masked Duke, is just the one to perform the stress. Masked Duke seems to be a more capable enemy than most of your later corrections. You haven't really refined the formula, have you? So, am I going up against Master Duke first? Alright, we're gonna gather a shitload of supplies. Save again. So that the game doesn't make me have to re... Hold on, is dead? Oh wait, I thought that was dead sparkle thing, but it's... Never mind, it's not sparkle, it's liquid.
I don't want to just, just, you know, throw bombs, some C4 at this thing right here. I've got a pipe bomb on me. I mean, it's unprotected by bone. It's exposed. Should be pretty easy to puncture. All right, Rose, we're going to do this. She's not too scared. She... That pool I've been feeling is close, but I just can't go any further. I thought I had made it when I saw the, that blue light, but no, not quite. If only I'd been braver, faster, stronger, so close. I was so close. I think that's Mother Miranda talking. Oh, you're still calling him Michael? You don't want... I thought you. I thought you figured out at the end of the last stream that that... Michael is probably your dad. The hell do we got over here? Creepy statue area? Okay. Black God, which lives in us and... That's the mold, I guess. And in, in which we live, create for us a new world and benefit as benefits your will... Your dark consciousness holds for us a second chance graciously offered and joyously accepted. You drink the blood of the lost lamb as it falls upon your darkened earth, not to destroy, but to preserve and once again deliver unto life. Yeah, kind of. Anything up here? No? Can't put a leg up that, huh? crystals the crystal maybe past mold maybe I don't know we got something are we finally going to use our lose our powers why we, I don't need to lose my powers yet. I need to fight some stuff Yeah, like, I really want to lose my powers now. I mean, yeah, sure, lose your powers and then get extracted, then you'll be fine. We gotta get out of this dream world. Uh-oh. I tricked you into losing your powers so I could duplicate you and turn you into Evelyn. Mother Miranda, we meet again. How tall is she? Uh-oh, she was an illusion from beyond. Eva. Does, does that mean Evelyn, or am I getting... So it's Dad, his face is covered, it's gotta be. Ethan. You're, you're not Michael, you lied. Damn that poly count, man. Oh, we are in a runaway mode right now. His face is hidden. Hold on. Can I... I can't... Can, can I get in front of him and, and turn around? Oh, shit. I want to try, I want to try to get in front of him. I'm I'm trying to run, really. Oh, this is so cool. We we actually have some co-op play, here, uh, virtual buddy. You didn't run across this in the main campaign. You're just kind of alone. Oh, I can't. No, there's no ah uh, no way to change that. Ah. Uh. 
but dad, where's your jacket? Tell me you have an infinite shotgun. It kind of like how Chris lied to me about killing Mia. No, get off. Uh, Dad, I need some help. Good shot. Keep my wife's name out of your mouth. Or am I being tricked? Is this a fake Michael leading me out here? Hmm? Surely we got a boss fight, yep. Just being normal doesn't mean people have to like you. Where do you go? Is there a chopper waiting for me? Is is Brad going to drop an RL for me to shoot this thing? Nobody told me how to use the crystal. So, staying a freak. Let's go. Oh, I have a ability? Are you kidding me? Oh, yeah. Here, let's hit, let's hit her with a little bit of this right here. And Oh. Whoop. Am I getting her? I don't think I stalled her on that one. Oh, oh boy. Dodged. Come on, make another turn. Make another turn. Make another turn. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, there we go. Snap. I probably should have used shoddy. Incoming projectiles. Okay, let's give it a shot. I tried. Okay, that's not doing shit. Better off dodging. Alright, you wanna make another strike? Okay, incoming project... Oh, there we go. Okay, so you gotta time it to catch him and, and do it. Alright, I got you, I got you, I got you. That's charging up my power. Sweet. Bam! Catch! Playing catch with the old old mom here. Mother-in-law, basically. Alright, I need you to. Oh, I did that too early. Pause her up just yet. She has to she has to come to a stop. Stay right there for me, please. In the face, bitch. She might have had iframes right there on that last shot. That third shot. LB to power into massive Mega My Seat. Okay. Holy hell. You're dead, bitch.
I don't think I have. I have to get full. St I, have to I have to strength. It, lo it looks like. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. I'm hearing her, but I'm not seeing her so well. Please don't spawn it. How are you talking? I am blasting you. For the hell of it. We'll, we've got plenty of these to use. Why not? And you know what? I, load up. Let's load up, bitch. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Dad's still alive, kinda, in this realm. A lot of stages here. Oh shit, what is this? Okay, you want to you want to play? Well, actually I don't want to do that, do I? Just do a little bit of dodging. Three in a row, bitch. That should be an achievement. Oh, no. I missed. Out of range. Shit. Game's dropping some ammo for me. Thought I saw some more. Okay, let's go. You gotta be kidding me. Oh my god, the speed. I gotta get that vine thing to attack. She needs to be kind of still for me. Right here, right here. Bam. In the face. Take. How much do I have? I can get I can lay some more shots into her, sure. Does that mean final phase? Yeah, final f She's been in her final form. Okay. Oh no, this is bad. Not good, not... That's... What? Give me a rocket launcher. You're gifting me your essence? I can write in gold and cyberbullying to her? Is that what I can do? No. Well, he's kind of been dead for a while. Alright. It wouldn't let me shoot her. No, Eva's staying down. Now get out the shotgun. I think that's it. I think that's it.
Mmm. Done, bitch. Hold on, can I see his face? It's not supposed to be his jacket, is it? Though I do see some stitches on there where he the hand was sliced, so maybe it is. I know Capcom says this concludes the Winter's story, but I kind of want to see some more Rose. She's been a pretty good protagonist. His chief, like we are not seeing his face. Well, she got the, she kind of got to spend some time with her dad through the memory capabilities of this stuff. No. Are we sure? Yeah, look at the stitches on that jacket. Other side doesn't have the stitches. The right hand has the stitches. That's that's Ethan's jacket. She retrieved his wedding ring. Which I think he had on him, but I thought those fingers might have been missing. I don't really know. We're done with the book, huh? You guys doing that Rosemary Winters cosplay? We've seen this before. This this was the end of the game's campaign, wasn't it? Or was this the very start? Of, I can't remember. Was this the very start of this? Or was it the end of the game's campaign? Now? Yeah, I think I think we're seeing the the uh, like the good ending though this game this only has one ending kind of husband and loving father who put family before What all else? I don't know. Man, well, this is a a more of a pull the heartstrings ending than you usually get out of a Resident Evil, which is more of a light action movie vibe, you know. Don't you call me that again. Which means I kept my powers. So my journey may, I, I was kind of being manipulated into that journey, I guess. Was this guy in the, the team? Was he a member of Chris's squad then, I guess? Why couldn't it have been Chris? Why couldn't it have been somebody we know? Like, that would have made more sense. Now we do this, and last time I thought I saw somebody walking to the right of the... Yeah, there's somebody up there. 
just appeared. Was it implied to be like dad's spirits with her? They're putting on the brakes. They're picking up somebody. Maybe that's Chris. Maybe we're going to see more more of that cutscene. Somebody's walking up to the SUV. Who could it be? Well, that was, without a doubt, the best DLC campaign I have played. I haven't played a ton of DLC. I don't particularly like throwing down money for the digital purchase, you know, full price DLC like I did this, but got the game at a discount and so kind of kind of added up. I thought that was actually better than the game. That was that felt more fulfilling, rewarding. I thought that the your character was better than Ethan in some way. I the story wasn't too oddly convoluted. I thought that I didn't really like how late in game of Village they made efforts to sort of retcon seven and eight further into Resident Evil lore. Like, oh hey, Mother Miranda inspired Spencer to create Umbrella. Didn't really like that. It's all an offshoot of the Mega My Seat uh, research. Okay, whatever. From that starting point, though, what they did with this DLC, really promising stuff. It, maybe it could have been harder. I didn't play on the hardest difficulty. But I did a decent job juking some guys and sneaking around. You gotta give me that. So, do we have a skip button? We do. Let's get my rating. 3007. I was told it was a four hour campaign. I think I made pretty good time. Got a couple of achievements there. Oh boy. Lots of extra game currency. You have completed the following challenges. Completion points can be used. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get me some kick-ass weapons. I'm gonna go into Village of Shadows mode. I won't necessarily be streaming that. I am gonna lay waste. I am gonna get all 100 percent completion of this game. You wait and see. Green team. What was green team? What was serene team? Maybe it's easy, standard, and then you have a, a you know a tougher one, right? It's starting to grow on me. I don't know what that was. But I did it completely consumed. I guess that's all the way leveled up. I don't know. Not so I below. You want to tell me what some of these are? Oh, shit. Was that save data? Shadow of Rose system save data. Well, that's it, guys. That is our stream. And on that note, I guess I'll be seeing you guys in the new year. You made it this far? Wait until marriage counseling.